Bless the children, Lord. Bless the children, Lord. As they learn about you. As they learn about you. Transfigure them, O Lord. Transfigure them, O Lord. Into the image of you. Hi everyone, Miss Vicki here and welcome back. So today I have something to start with and I have a question for you. Actually a couple of questions. And we're going to play a quick game called Does It Sink or Does It Float? So I'm going to show you two different objects and you tell me do you think it would sink or float if I put it in water? The first object, this rock. So what do you think? Sink or float? I guess it would probably sink for sure. Now the next thing I have is this piece of olive wood. It's actually in the shape of a cross, but what do you think? Do you think this piece of wood would sink or do you think it would float? It's actually pretty light, so it probably would float, but we don't really know because I don't have a little bowl of water to put the objects in right here. Sometimes we just need to believe without seeing. And that's actually going to be part of our gospel story today. In our gospel today, the apostle Thomas is going to have to realize that sometimes we have to have faith even when we don't see things. So let's begin with our opening prayer and get ready to listen to the gospel together on this second Sunday of Easter. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God made you and God made me. He made the world for us to see. God loves you and long ago, he sent his son to tell us so. Jesus showed us many things to love and share and dance and sing, to learn and pray, to help and care. He promised he always be there. He died but then came back to life. Let's celebrate for he's alive. Amen. So if you can remember back to last week's gospel on Easter, it was all about how Peter and John went to the empty tomb. And so we know on Easter Sunday that Jesus rose, but they actually didn't see Jesus himself. And so that's the big question now. What would you do if you saw Jesus after he rose from the dead? That's the question that we're going to look into during today's gospel. So let's listen together and see what happens next in our journey of Easter. Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you do, don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, he was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, first, I must see the nail scars in his hand and touch them with my fingers. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. 
I won't believe until unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, You are my God and my Lord. And Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, a lot of times we'll say, I'll believe it when I see it. Have you ever heard that expression? Maybe your parents have said it. But today's Gospel is a really big reminder that sometimes in faith it isn't, I'll believe it when I see it, but rather, I'll believe it even if I don't see it. It's that reminder that sometimes faith means believing and knowing something's true even when we can't see it. Take the season we're celebrating right now, Easter, right? Now, I didn't see Jesus rise from the dead and either did you. It happened over 2,000 years ago. But we know that it's true. We know because we have the account. We know because the people who saw it and saw him afterward did so much to spread that word that we just know it has to be true. And we take it in in faith that Jesus rose from the dead for us. Another example might be, and this one sometimes is harder, is that we know because God loves us so much that each and every one of us is made in his image and likeness because he loves us so much. Now, sometimes though, someone might do something that seems not so nice. Maybe you had someone at school not be nice to you, or maybe your sister and brother have done something that you don't really agree with. Now, even though they do something bad, we know that God still loves them and they're still made in the image and likeness of God. So that's why we're called to forgive people. It's why we're called to recognize when we do something wrong and try to do something better because we know truly that we are all meant to be good and faithful servants to the Lord. Can you think of anything else that we just know to be true, that even though we don't see it, we know it's true. You know, one of my favorite ones is that God created the world. I look around in this world and I just know all this beauty is because God created it for us. How amazing is that? But we didn't see him create it. We just know. And sometimes we know it just in our bones, right? We just know it in our hearts and in our souls, that part of us that God also created that you can just connect with him. And that's why prayer is so important. It gives us the ability to connect with him. So sometimes in faith, like I said, it is all about believing without seeing. And that's a lesson that Thomas learned today when he saw Jesus. Now, as we're getting ready for a profession in faith, just think about that. All the things we're about to say that I believe, that we truly believe this, are all things that maybe we haven't seen, but our faith makes it so that we just know in our hearts and our souls that it's true. So now let's move on to our profession of faith. Please stand for our profession of faith. After each one respond with, yes, I do believe. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Yes, I do believe. Do you believe he rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty? Yes, I do believe. 
Children, if we believe all of these things, we will live to see great wonders in this world and in the next. Let Now, let us show our faith in God's power by expressing our needs in prayer. To each petition, please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, that the power of the risen Lord will make them good leaders and holy people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this parish, that the power of the risen Lord will help us set our hearts on heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people who live in the darkness of sin, that the power of the risen Lord will raise them to the light. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, what or who would you like to pray for today? We lift them all up to the Lord and we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Thanks so much for joining me today for our children's liturgy virtually. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're looking for more ways to celebrate this wonderful season of Easter, make sure to go check out our family playlist on our website called Go Out and Share because Easter is all about, right, going out and sharing the good news of what Jesus did for us. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Make sure that your family is subscribed to our channel and has a little notification bell under this video clicked so that you'll know every time we post something new on our Transfig YouTube channel. Have a great day and happy Easter. Let's end our time in prayer. Let us pray. God in heaven, hear our prayers today. We know you can help us because you are strong and powerful. We know you will help us because you are loving and kind. I'll praise and honor to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless us all, O Lord. Bless us all, O Lord. As we listen to you. As we listen to you. Transfigure us, O Lord.